Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get three ships for free in five minutes. Now the ships will be completely random. You might get an A class, a B class, or fingers crossed, a C class, but it is just the luck of the draw. Anyway, what you're gonna do is head to this location. This is the Parima system. To the left of the system, there's a planet called Parima 4C. On this planet, there is a fracking station, and this is really important. Now, some elements of Starfield are randomized, so if there's not a fracking station on your planet, just have a look around different systems until you find a fracking station. An easy way to do this is look for any planet with three dots. These three dots mean there'll be a point of interest on the planet, and these include things like factories, labs, mines, and indeed, fracking stations. So anyway, when you touch down, you will immediately hear a ship coming to land. This is the first of three ships you can steal. Stealing ships in Starfield is obviously not new information, but this method we're doing here gives me the most ships in the shortest space of time. And to be honest, I'm not even sure why, but I believe it's got something to do with these fracking stations. Ships just seem to land on the same tiles as fracking stations, regardless of how remote these stations are. Like, what are they even doing here? People just love to be fracking, I guess. The frequency of ship encounters might also also have been affected by the last updates. People I've seen have been reporting that more ships are landing near them that they can then steal, and maybe Bethesda have tweaked the underlying code of the game and somehow linked fracking stations with increased ship landings. Whatever has happened, it just results in more ships for us. So anyway, as we're on our way to the ship, we can see in the distance a second ship land. What is with these ships? I have no idea. Maybe there's a party I've not been invited to, but we can't be in two places at once, so we're gonna steal this first ship and see what happens. So for me, there's no one in it. I don't know about you. Hopefully you don't have to have a huge fight on your hands. And then you can go ahead, sit in the pilot's chair and steal it. Make sure to set this as your home ship so the captain doesn't come back and fly off with it. That's always a danger if you leave a ship you don't own and then come back to find it has flown away. This is now yours. And you don't have to spend money registering it either at this point anyway. Just set it as your home ship and from here, it will be in your menu and you can fast travel to it and things like that. Next up, it's time to steal our second ship. The fully leveled up scanner is great here because you can zoom right in and see the ship miles away. You'll also have the ship's landing site marked on your map with an icon. So even if you lose track of the ship, just look for the ship landing site icon and you can find your way instantly. So let's go ahead and steal the second ship. And And check it out, a third ship has landed. That's three ships in the space of a few minutes and they're all completely free to steal. The only hard part is knowing which one to go after first. But we're gonna concentrate on the one we're already heading to. Let's take things one step at a time. Sometimes ships can take off while you're running to them, which does add a bit of tension to everything, but just get your head down and sprint. <laughs>
So off to the third and final ship of this three ship farm. And once again, we can just head inside and steal it. Once you have done, you can then register all your ships in the menu for decreased registration costs and then sell them at a ship vendor. Or if you fancy keeping them and you just like the look of them, but want to upgrade them, you can keep them and just swap out the reactor for something with a bit more power. Maybe upgrade the guns, maybe add a little something to the shields. And even if it's an A class, you can treat that as a template that you can upgrade into a C class. But best of all, if you try this again, a completely different set of ships could spawn for you. I've personally not managed to get three class C ships in a row, but if someone was lucky enough for that to happen, their name would be etched in history. But as I say, you do need a little bit of luck on your side for the ships to spawn. If you're having trouble seeing them, a few things you can do is keep reloading your autosave, and by that I mean the autosave that happened when your ship th first landed on the planet, and that could trigger it. You could also build an outpost and a bed and sleep in that bed for a few hours until a ship lands. And finally, you can fast travel away to another planet and then fast travel back to the fracking station to try and reset the encounter. Anyway, that is my three ship farm. In short, to find a fracking station and follow the trail of landing spots. Thank you so much for watching once again and for more Starfield Guides, subscribe to the channel. Meet your death. Stroud Eklund ships may 